guys welcome back to my channel today i'm really excited because i'm going to be doing a portrait painting session with another artist and her name is sandy hester she has got a lovely youtube channel which is bright and colorful and it's called bits of an artist's life she is based in nashville tennessee and so today we are going to be drawing each other's portraits. If you look at Sandy's channel, you've seen recently that she's been doing a whole load of portraits, but the portrait she's been doing, the style in which she's drawing her portraits is not necessarily like really lifelike. Um, and then also not really over the top abstract. You can see that there are the face, but what I love about them is the character and the essence that they kind of capture. And so today I'm really hoping that I can push myself away from doing, trying to do a really lifelike face and instead just play and explore and experiment. And so I've got a whole load of mediums set up all ready to go. I've also got black paper because I'm going to try and use black paper. I haven't done that before, but Sandy uses that all the time. Um, I'm going to be using water soluble crayons, um, which will be interesting. And I've used them in my sketchbook, but not really for drawing people. I've also got my ink tents, pencils. I've got a whole range of mediums. And I really hope today I can just break out of trying to do things the way I always do them and just experiment and play and have some fun. So I really hope that you enjoy watching what we get up to. We're gonna be filming different bits of this and obviously in the editing, it will all hopefully work together and <laughs> won't be too long or boring for you to watch. But yeah, if you want to pop this on in the background and maybe play it as you're drawing along too, that would be great. Um, but yeah, I can't wait to see what we produce. Look who's just turned up. We've got Sandy here and we're going to be painting and drawing. Hey guys, yay. <laughs> we need to share what we've got then, what we yes. have. Okay, so I've got the aquarelle. These are very much like your Neo color. I'll be using those. I've got black paper as well. And then I've got my ink tents pencils. Just these ones. Yeah. Then I've got some my inks, uh, liquid acrylic ink, bamboo sticks, two fountain pens, different fountain pens. 20 minutes later. And watercolors. There are watercolors there. Oh, and uh, these. I have lots of colors. You've got 50 million things like I do. <laughs> yeah. so I have my um, gouache palette. Yep. And I brought my watercolor. Ooh, that's like so mine. Snap. I have my color pencils and yes. my cute little trusty oh, I like palette. That. I've got my Faber Castle markers. Then I also have my big set of the. Um, oh, yes. The Karen Dash. Yes, Karen Dash. Butter soluble. This is Art Graph and it's watercolor graphite. So this is the little jar. Yeah. Seeing how fast it would dry. It looks like pencil, but you get it, you know, watery. You know, like a brush. I'm going to use that too. This is quite <laughs> scary, actually. <laughs> I love it. I need water too. <laughs> We're gonna do some fast warm-ups first, aren't we? Just some really quick, loose. Oh, cool. Hey, look, it's stripey. I know, the stripe shirt is in a lot of my stuff recently, so. I'm, I wanna just crank some out, you know, get, get us warmed up and loose. If I can start off wonky, and then, at, and then at the end, once I'm really loose and warmed up, I can do a much better realistic. Yeah, you've just loosened up, haven't you? And you've just kind of said, well, I don't really care what it's gonna look like. So you kind of lose the control. Yeah, well, I just, right here, this one I fully made you look like a man, sorry. 
doing this real quick, like a, just a fur, 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 fur. Oh wow, they look really nice. They're really cool. <laughs> yes. Oh, I like how you overlapped it too. It looks too serious though. These warm ups, that's what they're for. I'm gonna have so much fun like making pieces of art from these. So with, I definitely think with a face with continuous, you almost have to start with the nose and then you can work with the eye, come back out, come back in, go back down, yeah. you know. Okay, ready, go. And remember, these aren't meant to necessarily like look like one another, you know? No. Just to be inspiration. I just wanna get loose with it because I get very tied up. Okay, there we go, that's, I like that yeah. wiggly line. Yes, I do too. There we go. <laughs> well, you have got to use that bottom left one as a painting, because that is so good. See that one you can see, it just doesn't, it's got no life in it. A mixture of not licking and licking. Got a bit more room as well to do the body. Okay. <laughs> yes. Oh, let me put the earrings in. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes with these, I really like to like attack. I keep starting with the nose. I find that's a pattern, I don't know why. Okay. Let's see then. Okay, so here is my water soluble. Oh, cool, yep. That one, and then, oh. I actually didn't mind this drawing as much, but this one turned out really so oh. Okay, what should we do next? What about less dominant hand? Oh, yes, let's do that. This is a charcoal. I've got a charcoal. This is that same like water soluble graphite thing, but it's a stick. It's big. <laughs> well, I could, as you're eating, I could draw you. Okay. I'm gonna do the go in the nose first area. I'm doing, mm -hmm. still doing a continuous line. You've got a very small mouth actually. <laughs> I'm trying not to hold too tight. I'm doing the other side now. Notice how I'm like talk you through what I'm drawing. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we're coming down into the jumper now. Okay. <laughs> oh, I want to do a stripe. Let me make sure I get a stripe. Oh, do you know what? I forgot. I forgot. What? Your eyes. <laughs> Your eyes. Well, now you got to go back in there. One continuous line. There we go. I think this actually might be better than the other one. The woman. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Really good. Oh, I love it. Do you want me to do anything with my hair? Okay. Oh boy. All right. Yeah. <laughs> um. Okay. So there is that. Super oh, fast. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. So which one are you? What's your less dominant? Left or right? Left. I'm gonna use a paintbrush, and I'm gonna use wash. All right. Here we go. Oh, I'm excited. I need some real watercolor paper here. Did he stop my nose? I did. Okay. So that was a little weird, but I'm going to go back later and paint that in. Wow. With, um, I really like that one. I've never done two handed. Two. Oh, like this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> drawing the drawing with both your hands at the same time. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna love this. Ooh, it's kind of weird. Very strange feeling. Are you doing it symmetrical, like drawing? Yeah, it's almost like they are symmetrical, like the way my hands are moving. Oh, I'm gonna love this. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna turn out to be the wonkiest one, I think, for me at least. Okay, I'm just gonna try and do uh, the background, a bit of the background. They're both doing different things, so here we go. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's my favorite one so far. I thought I'd end up with a really big head. Oh. <laughs> You're gonna end up with a really big head. <laughs> the same color. And then the next one are we gonna use opposite colors. I started just at the top and went okay. there and went down. Totally gonna be doing this in real life because I love <laughs> oh nice oh i love the uh i love the background oh that's... i loved your background too i think we need to start adding some of that i really like that um 
that glass thing behind you. Stained glass thing? Yeah. Oh, the horse is in. Yeah. Oh, fun. I've got a pig back there too. I think he's out of view. But... And then I always put your paintings in as well. Oh, I love it, Melanie. Oh, I can't believe you got that horse in like that. With Was that with your dominant hand or your non-dominant? That was my dominant hand that side. But it definitely helped me being less controlled. Oh, wow. Yeah, I love the two-tone. So we're getting loose in that, Melody. Yeah. <laughs> we're getting loose, we're getting loose. I like the line work. We've gotten loosened up. That's why we're liking it. Okay, can you see it now? I added the, yeah. made it a little darker. Yeah, that's really nice. Yeah, okay, there we go. Oh yeah. Oh, I love that you're adding the stained glass thing. I'm quite happy. I feel like, do you, don't you feel like now that we're adding some of the background, I feel like the paint, they're kind of coming alive a little more. I'm, I'm using the wax pastels now with this yet, but I'm trying to pick colors that aren't really what's there. And then I'm like, I just did your nose, this weird greenish yellow color. Yeah, one of the things I like about using the black paper and then like something bright is I'm shifting gears now from what I would do with like gouache or watercolor or any other kind of painting. I'm able to focus on color, value, and line work. Cause I really, really like line work. Yeah. And this allows me to just make marks. I don't know, I just get to work on things that are different and I keep it loose and I go really fast. Definitely, yeah, definitely different to what I would do. I think it's good because it's pushing me a bit. I think you get quite stuck sometimes in. Mm -hmm. Okay, oh, this is so much fun. Oh, nice. I like the writing. So, like, I used yellow, it was a yellowy green to outline your kind of your eyes and your nose. Yeah. And then I just blobbed in a bright green. Just got to go like this. Just like. Like just, <laughs> I'm not, I don't know, I don't know. This is like completely out of my comfort zone. So. <laughs> I've got, you've got green hair at the moment. Oh yeah, I love it. How do you feel about using colors that are different? Brings something completely different to it, doesn't it? And your two drawings back there, I'm loving the one on the left, particularly from a distance. It's yeah. really, really good. I love them. Okay, so let's make sure we have some vertical and horizontal finished, you know, pieces <laughs> and different mediums. Yeah, I think I would like to try, yeah, do, do a bit more with the water-soluble crayons. What we want to do is now create more pieces of work from these. So, like, I'll probably do a painting from this. Yeah. That's how I work all the time. I work from, you know, I, I don't go back to the subject. I love it. See? Yes, I love it. Can we take a picture with both of us holding up? Our... Yes. I can really see I was feeling so awkward doing these ones. Suddenly, this is where I'm starting to let go. So I'm gonna do some more inky drawings. These are gonna be based on the drawings that I did with Sandy. I'm going to try and do a continuous line and quickly as well. And I'm standing up. See if I have less control that way.
Okay, that's a boy in the wrong place. Let go, letting go. Yes. <laughs> That's right handed, right handed, left handed, left handed. Coming up in part two, I will be attempting to get to grips with my water soluble wax crayons on black paper and probably making what Sandy would call a hot mess. I'll also finally be working on my finished pieces. Can't wait to show you what I've come up with. So don't forget to go and check out Sandy's channel, Bits of an Artist Life. You'll also find her posting on Instagram and her handle for that is Sandy Grady one And you'll also find a video of the process for her on her channel as well. So make sure you go and watch that and see it from her side and I will see you again very soon.